Hello again, Denny H Retro Game Master here, and here we have what you need to do if you end up with a hard drive issue for a PS3. So, or you want to fit another, a, new, a bigger hard drive to a PS3. So basically, what you need to do is you need to have a hard drive. Um, you need a USB pen drive. Um, I haven't got one at me, but I'll show. But I'll just pause the video and I'll show one. In. As you can see, there's uh, the USB pen drive is in there, nice lips color. And if you look further up, it's um updating the ps3 so anyway i'm going to pause you to get and get you back to the tv get you back to the computer right so yeah what we need to do is you need to go to ps3 what's that doing on there I don't know. um you need to go to ps3 system software um that site there you see there playstation and all that playstation sim system software i will put that in the i will put that in the description um to download the latest f up firmware which will be 4.89 I don't think they're going to do any more updates for the PS3 after this one and then what you need to do is you need to go on your computer um, I've just got it up set up here um, disk management sometimes and that will tell you what's wrong with your hard drive what you need to do is you need to hard you need to do the hard drive you need to, to do the hard drive you need to you might need to click on it and do new simple volume and just follow the instructions that it comes up and then format it and then obviously it will come up in usually in NTFS and then what you need to do is you need to go to GUI formatter I'll just get that up and down here GUI format you need you really do need that app I'm not going to do it here because the hard drive, hard drive is already on FAT32 um, so yeah you need to you need to download that and then go from there so, and then after you, do that, you put that into your you plug it into the PS. You plug your hard drive back into the PS3. I'll just pause down there. You plug your hard drive back into your PS3, and then you put your um, USB pen drive in in um, USB port two, and then just go from there and follow all the instructions, and it will take you through. And then hopefully you'll be able to use your PS3 again. Anyway, there's a little tip for you for today. Take care, guys, and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.